Good Morning Maryland at 9. It's Thursday, so that means Dr. Fiermonti's here. Tell me about this cute dog. This is Lloyd. He's a mixed Bichon. He's pretty frisky right now because <laughs> he's chewing on everything. Uh, but he's a mis mixed uh, Bichon. He's over at the Maryland SPCA on Falls Road. He's looking for him. He's a year old. Uh, he's all ready to go. Nice and friendly. Just coming up and giving everybody a she kiss. And now he's going to chew on everything. Come. Uh, you know, when the cameras go on, you That's go a little right. crazy. It's <laughs> one of those, can I be on TV sort of things. All right, so we have some people who need some questions and some uh, answers right now. The first is okay. Terry from Baltimore. She has a Yorkie. Terry, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How okay. old is your Yorkie, Terry? She's five months. Okay, so at five months of age, it's really not good for her to be eating a lot of table scraps. Um, dogs need a balanced diet. You don't just eat chicken all day long. You also have some fruits and some vegetables and some cheese and some calcium supplements or, or calcium sources like milk. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure this dog is eating puppy chow and almost only puppy chow. The more table scraps you give it now, the more it gets used to that, the less likely it'll eat dog food. And it won't get enough of the, of the calcium and the other minerals that are important for it. Okay, Terry, thanks for calling. We have another Terry. This one's from okay. Forest Hill. And I believe a lab shepherd mix is is that right, Terry? Uh, lab retriever mix. Lab retriever mix. And it's a skin problem. Yeah. Okay. And you're down where, Terry? I'm sorry? Where, where do you live? In Forest Hill, Maryland. Forest Hill, okay. Uh, there's a couple of specialty dermatologists. If you've been there, if you've been to a couple of veterinarians and you're having problems uh, finding out exactly what's causing this, you may want to talk to your veterinarian and have them refer you to a veterinary dermatologist. It's important to make sure you have enough fatty acid in the food, so you want to give them some bacon grease or some other food additives that will help uh, or get some oil in the skin, but you also look, have to look for underlying causes, mange, staph infections, allergies. Allergies are the most common problem. That's the most likely thing that will be going on with you right now. So uh, check with your veterinarian. Keep working with them. They should be able to get this under control or at least stabilized. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thanks, Terry. Thanks for calling in. And don't forget, we forgot to give out the uh, number for, for the, oh, the SP Yeah, the SPCA is 235-8826, and it's the Maryland SPCA. Over in, isn't that Gord? Look I'm going to look at him. He's, he, he is, is gorgeous, just and great. he's so sweet. He's yes, really he is. Very friendly. Very friendly, coming up and giving everybody kisses and things. And while we're talking about the Maryland SPCA, we wanted to thank everybody for adopting all the cats that they did this weekend or this month. They got a total of 580 cats adopted in the Baltimore area. I think that's great for one month. Amazing, because so their goal job. was 500. 500, so, so they, they, they succeeded. And last year they said it was, what, half of that? Half so of really, that. It was only it was about 300. Wonderful. All right, so don't forget about this frisky little guy. He's as cute as can be. They have all sorts of pets. And Dr. Fermanti comes in every Thursday, so if you have a question, call us next week. Jamie.